Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about how to use the Cypress and how to write the Cypress test. In today's video we're going to learn about how to create your 404 pages and how to handle the errors. So let's say that if the user goes to any page that does not exist then it should redirect the user to 404 and give yourself a status code of 404. So let's go to any random page, let's say something random and hit it and there you go. You can see that it's giving you the 404 page which is sorry no result found. Okay so let's begin how to do that. There are a couple of things we're going to do. The first thing we'll do is update the GraphQL plugin and GraphQL Gutenberg plugin to their latest versions. So I'm going to go over to WordPress and then I'll go to composer.json and this is the place I'm going to update these. So this version will be 1.1.2. So let's put that there. Okay and then this one will be 0 0.3.7. So let's go ahead and update that. I'm going to remove the WP GraphQL Gutenberg ACF. We don't need that, so I'm just going to remove that. Okay, and then we're going to do composer update. So I'm going to go to CD WordPress, CD backend, and then WordPress, and that's it, and composer update. In case if you're not using our setup for the Docker, uh, and Composer then you can just manually update the plugins. You can get the plugin for WP GraphQL from WordPress.org and then the other plugin is available on GitHub so you can download the latest version and you can go ahead and update that. The next thing we're going to do is write a function called handle redirects and return data. So I'm going to head over to my front end and I'll go to source and then I'll go to utils and then inside of the slug.js I'm going to add this function and this function is called handle redirect and return data. Let me pull is empty. Uh, let's import that on top. Is empty from Lodash. Okay. So the job of this function basically is to handle the redirect and return the data. So in case if the data is not found when we query the data from WordPress using GraphQL and if the data is not found then it should redirect the user to 503 and return the status code as 301. In case if the page is not available, so it accepts certain parameters. This is our custom function by the way. It accepts default props, data, any errors and field. So in case if, uh, you know, that field, let's say, for example, the page is not available, then we're just going to return not found in the get static props. So we're going to call this function inside of the get static props. We are just defining it here separately. If it returns not found to true, next yes will return the default 404 page with a status code of 404. Okay. Otherwise, if none of these conditions uh, are met, it's just going to return the default props. So let's go ahead and use this function inside of our pages. So let's go to index.js first. What I'm going to do is instead of saying return all of this data directly, I'll say const default default props equals this. And then I'm going to call this function. So let's go ahead and call this function handle redirects data. And I'm just going to use these values. So it's going to ask for default props. So we've got the default props. It's going to ask for the errors. So I'm going to pull errors. Uh, we don't need loading a network status, so we can get rid of that. Uh, let's remove this one. So you've got errors. You can remove the context as well. And then it's asking for the field. So for us, the field will be page. And I'm going to show that to you in a moment why that field will be page. Okay. Uh, and then I want to clean this up a bit. So 
before I clean it, just want to show to you that what's going to happen at this point is uh, instead of returning these props directly, we are first filtering it down through this function so that it handles the redirects and we are importing that function here on top and it's going to pass all of these props and it's going to pass if the data is going to pass the data as well as the errors and if at all the data is not present it's going to redirect the user to 503 and return the status code of 301 if the page doesn't exist it's going to you know redirect the user to 404 page Otherwise, if everything goes well and it's all success, then it's just going to return the default prop so it's as good as returning this data. Okay, and uh, it's going to redirect the user to the 404 page. So let's also create a page called 404. And we are going to come back to that in a moment. Uh, we'll create a component. This needs to be a component, so we'll come back to that. Okay, so that's going to be a custom 404 page. If we don't use uh, if you don't create a page called 404, then uh, then the next year's won't be using a custom one. It'll just say 404. Okay, I want to clean this a little bit. So over here, instead of you know uh, pulling data and making it in this fashion, we can just do data or empty object and then handle everything at the component level. So you go back to layouts. <coughs> I've already made that change, so let me just put that. So let me pull that data. So I'm going to update this because as per uh, from the data, we'll be able to pull the page, header, footer, header menu, footer menu. And then inside of the header menus, it'll become header menus dot edges. And then this will be footer menu. So footer menus dot edges. Okay, so I made this update. So you can see this is the update I made. And then this should all work fine. And now function custom 404 function return 404. Okay, export default custom 404. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and update that onto the slug page as well. Same thing. So I'm going to come in over here and instead of saying the whole thing, we'll just say data, oops, data or object, okay? Let's say data, otherwise an empty object. And this will get closed. Same thing here as well. Okay, and I'm gonna use the same function here as well, which is handle, redirect, and return data. So I'll come over here. Uh, we'll change this to default props, const. Default props equals this. And then same thing page, okay? And then we also have to pull errors. So let's go ahead and pull errors from the data. So I've made these changes on the slug.js, which handles all of the pages. And I've also made this change on the uh, index.js, all right? And last thing we need to do is we need to return whatever the value this function returns. So this function would either uh, return the redirect or not found, or it's gonna return the default props if it's successful. So we're just gonna return that and we're gonna update that here as well. Say return. So now we're going to go inside of the front end directory and I'll run npm run dev. And this is started my local development server. And I can say localhost 3000 and see what happens. Perfect. So you can see that now it's working. And if I go on to any random page that doesn't exist in WordPress, so let's say this one, you can see that it says 404. Yep, which is great. Perfect.